Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it's the City of Liverpool, it's episode 12 of Non-League Legend, and we're here with you today for the Liverland vs City of Liverpool crash, it's, fir oh, it's first versus fourth here away from home at the Liverland Sports Club and a very important game in terms of the league and where we are. With 10 games to go, we're 8 points clear, but we also have a game in hand on Squires Gate. So win this game today, we go, you know, 12 points, uh, 12 points clear, 8 points clear, sorry, 11 points clear, with, um, you know, 9 games to go in the league, puts us in the driving spot to win the league. We don't have to play Squires Gate again, we did beat them in an episode not too long ago. Um, we also have White Church coming up, Abby Hay, Ashton Athletic, so we don't have the easiest run home. Um, you know, Charnock is a team that given us some problems in the past, um, you know, or gave us a problem in the past in this save. Um, we drew 1-1 one, one with them. So it's not like we have the easiest run home. But win this game, we kind of keep that gap to a nice safe distance and just really know that even if we were to lose a couple games in a row for a year, even to lose three in a row, Squires Gate have to be near perfect to close the gap to us. Um, the reason why this game is so big as well is we do lose this game. You know, which church we do play in here um, could win their game and go to 60. And then if they win our game, we obviously don't get free. They get free. It's a six-point swing. Um which could be huge as well. That Witch Church game is going to be in the next episode. I'm not going to put it as um, a double upload here. I want to really keep this, um, you know, these games leading into the title as a um, as focused as possible on the game that is at the moment. Um, as we get through the Premier Divisions or through the divisions and get towards the Premier League, you know, in the higher leagues, we'll definitely go and do a bit more double upload episodes. But because we are in non-league, um, we will keep the episodes quite short, precise, and make sure, you know, we get through the save as quickly as possible. We are going to get into this game. As you would imagine, it is the same 4-4-2 lineup with the lineup that we have been playing of late. Um, you know, we have been getting Tom Wilkinson to play a little bit. The youngster that came through the youth intake, which you would have seen last time around. And he's been playing quite all right. Um, since he did lead up meet us, it's only been the two games, Norwich and Pandaham. We did win 2-0 and we did win 4-2 in both of those games there. Um, the one thing I am going to say is, sorry there was not, no upload for City Liverpool yesterday. Um, Sunderland was just massive. We did a six-hour stream. We scouted over a 1,000 players. We put a lot of effort in Sunderland. We also had to get through the end of the season where we lost to Real Madrid in the uh, first round of the Champions League in a crazy tie. Highly recommend you go check that episode out. I think it's episode 83. It's called like the craziest UCL tie I've played in FM. Something like that. You know, it, it was crazy. Do recommend if you are here watching the City of Liverpool that you go watch that episode back and maybe go watch how we did end in the league. We did a six-hour stream, we made some signings, and if the signings that we made in that six-hour stream are to what's to come for City of Liverpool, we're going to be all right, um, hopefully one day when we do get there. There's still 11 promotions to go. As you can see, I was getting through games quite quick, quickly before um, just to get through into this episode because we haven't released an episode, but Lee Hendry's ball back, so it finds Johnson, knocks it down. Carl Noon, can he turn? He does, but the keeper saves. He saves again. It falls the Hunter, though. And five minutes in, we're one new up here against Liverland, away from home. And that's what we want to take, just like that. Um, there will be a day that the City of Liverpool does become the main save, right? Um, obviously, with the squad that we have now at Sunderland, it's not out of the realms of possibility that we don't win the league this year. It's not out of the realms of possibility we don't win the Champions League this year. And that would be the end of the save, right, in one season. I don't think it's going to take this season. I think it's going to take at least two, probably three, to win that Champions League. You need that good Champions League run. You need the players to grow. Um, but once that's over, that's uh, this is all City of Liverpool is what's left for the rest of FM19. So, you know, it will be streamed every day, it will be played every day. It won't be the second save, it will be the first save. And if that is the case, um, I, I took her out I took her out not long ago. There you go. Just let mum know that the dog's gone out. As, oh, then the effort hits the bar from this. Is, no, I haven't. Um, but the ball gets the bar there but what we we're saying is when we do get to that stage with city of liverpool where it is going to be a you know it is going to be the main save there's going to be conti out every day the lower league levels are going to go like that because we are going to be playing 20 30 games a day and you know you can really grind out a lower league save as hayden goes from distance we are one one here against liverpool and we've come back into it since we started rambling on about this you know where city of liverpool is heading in terms of the save and uh, you know mum asking me if the dog's been out and been fed all of a sudden, it is 1-1 one, one, just like that. Just like non-league football, it's uh, been a little bit non-league here in this episode. A little, a little bit rambly, a little bit uh, not focused, and then bang, you can see it as well. Kind of makes up for what goes on. If that was the Sunderland, I would not even have said anything to mum. That sounds quite bad. I do love my mum. Anyway, Denson. Get this focus back. Denson's born to Lee Hendry. He's had a great year. A sensational year. Finds Wilkinson into Denson. Denson now into Wilkinson. Wilkinson into Lee Hendry. 
Lee Hensry with the ball into Denson. Denson's ball down the line. It's headed away only far as Willsby. Willsby into Skinner. Skinner now. Can we get a tackle in here on Skinner? We do. Apparently, that's going to be a foul. And Wilkinson, this is the one worry about playing the youngster, is he's got a little bit of high aggression. It was a needless foul. We're down to 10 men. 10 men, City of Liverpool. And all of a sudden, this game could be slipping away from us. We're going to get Lee Hendry into the middle. We're just going to play that for now. Um, try and get in at half time. Have a think about what we can do. I believe Wilkinson's aggression is really high. It's actually 12. I'm actually then shocked that he's got sent off here. Um, but here we are. Well, look, we were eking this game a little bit in terms of the stats. You know, a bit even in terms of the ball. But we obviously don't play with the ball in the save just yet. One day we'll play the expansive tiki taka football. Um, I'm not happy with the performance out there is what I'll say to the defence, really. Um, I don't really mind what's happening elsewhere. But, um, you know, very even in terms of chance of creative. But now with 10 men, it's really a case of can we maybe hit him on the break? If not, we're probably going to have to keep Jamie McDonald on, get Carl Noon off so he doesn't get suspended, and try and really set up for a draw or get one off the break with Jamie McDonald. At the moment, though, time is ticking away here, and I'm just going to let it tick for a little bit long before we make that change. The ball comes in, headed away from Pilner. Not the best of headers. Dobson's on it. Still with Dobson, though. Dobson's ball in a Hayden. Hayden now with it. His ball inside finds Wellsby. Wellsby could go from distance, doesn't. It's into um, Brackley, into Wellsby. And you just see them creating as Smith goes not too far wide. And it's still 1-1. This would be an important point. That's got to re what we've got to remember here. Important point makes it a nine-point gap. Free game gap. We lose this game. It's not a free game gap back to Squires Gate. And it won't be a free game gap if... Uh, not um, Leverhead, if Whitechurch did win as well. As Jamie McDonald gets on it, lays it back in the Lee Hendry. It's a great ball over the top to Kelly. And this is why we stayed with two up front, because we could fashion a chance. The ball into the box is poor, though. And this is where the problem does lie. On the break, he will always be there. In it to right gate, or right height. In the shrinks, or shinks. His ball in there, the Wellsby. Wellsby now with it. We will make a change after this highlight as well. Right gate, Simmons now. Still with Simmons. Force him from distance. Force him from distance. He doesn't. It's Hope now. Hope inside. Wills be first time. We're down now. 2-1 down. And all of a sudden, we're in a little bit of a spot of bother because we are down to 10 men too. It's been coming a little bit. Gary Mills is going to come on there. I'm actually going to get Gary Mills back a line. We're going to go to a DM that's just going to sit and just be a defensive-minded player. And we might just go to that. Let's give us a little bit more... Um, a little bit more... What can we say? Um, a little bit more cover in front of our back four, but still allow us to really go push on an attack and maybe try and find a highlight to get back into it. It would make, you know, it would make sense to do that, but at the same time, I might have to throw the kitchen sink at it as well, take off a centre back because a point he would be huge um, as Kemp comes forward. If they score from kickoff because we're making a change, I will be livid as Hope comes inside. Hope his efforts blocked, falls to right gate. And I'm not happy with this. It's a corner at least. At least it allows us to get the change in. But corners are deadly on FM. But we don't even get to see it. All right. What we are going to do is we're going to let the highlight go. I was about to tell the boys, just go get creative, you know. Push forward. Try and get that winner. Or try and get that equaliser. The ball gets headed. It falls to Hayden. Hayden now with the ball. Into Simon. Simon's now in the well. will be in the shrinks. Headed away from Denson. We need a good ball over the top. Exploit the space in behind. Please, boys. Come on. Make a run. The ball, the run from Jamie McDonald isn't really there. Dobson will pick it up. And there we go. We just need that one killer ball as the ball gets played into Wellsby. Wellsby there in the side. Simmons. Simmons now with the ball. Still running as Simmons. Simmons. Great tackle by George Mills playing in that six roll. But the ball is not the greatest. But Noon is quick and he's there. Can Jamie McDonald get him back stick? He's there. It's a poor ball. It just had to be a good ball and we're in. McDonald in the end has to lay it back there to Hunter. What a ball from Jay Hunter. Kelly's at the back stick. What a ball from Jay Hunter. First time from deep from an angled position to the back stick, and all Kelly had to do was, okay, boss, I'm just going to prod this one in. And there we go. Hunter picks it up. A great swinging ball to the back stick, and Kelly there. And we are not going to rest on our laurels here. We are going to go get Carl Noon off, get someone else out there. Let's get really defensive, get Froggart in there. Um, why not? He's not the greatest there, but we'll get him in. I don't think any of our centre mids, uh, centre backs can actually play there. Apparently, Froggart can play... Centre mid, but not centre defensive mid. We could go like that, and I think that's what we'll go. We'll go like that and get Froggart in there just as a ball winning midfielder on defend as well. Um, Froggart's obviously one of the younger regions that we did pick up. He's actually not the worst in that position, actually, ever either, as a centre mid or as a Carrillo. Could play him as a Carrillo and actually try and help get him to help um, um, McDonald, but you can't play him as a Carrillo because we're not playing with two midfielders. But we'll be okay. We're going to leave it like that and just hope that maybe we get a chance on the break here. But we are going to set up. They've gone a free at the back, which I think doesn't doesn't bother us too much as well. 
We'll see how we go. Apparently, we should try and play a shorter passing game. Maybe. As the ball goes long, right gate's there. Headed down. Shrinks is there. He's hit the post. We should not have let that chance come about, but we do. Anyway, I'm going to tell the boys, actually, the dying members, can we just actually get creative? If we get on the ball, actually look to pick the lock. You know, look to fight it, feed it out wide. It's a last-ditch free kick. The ball in, headed away from Pilna. Only as far as shrinks from distance. It's blocked. Falls the Simmons, though. He has a wealth of opportunities. Great country tackle there by Mills. And maybe it could be the silly Liverpool on the break. We only got Jamie McDonald up there. Could he get on it? He does. It's Jamie McDonald. He's running through. I tell you what, he's clean through. Jamie McDonald, he beats a couple. McDonald, oh, Rockton with the save. What an important goal that could have been in terms of the league. We could have stolen at the death for 10 men, City Liverpool. The ball in back stick. James Johnson doesn't get there. And it's a free kick as it was a foul by Johnson. He could go into the box here for a push. Look, eat away the seconds. This point would be very, very important. This could be one of the more important points we do get this season. It would have to be near perfect for Liverland to get the winner, which would keep him in that, you know, it would keep him sorted in the title hunt. You would imagine that they're probably a bit too far back even if they won this game. But they'll definitely be too far back even if they draw. For us, though, it's all about keeping a nine-point gap. As Simmons into Wellsby. Wellsby now into Hayden. Time's ticked away here. It's either got to be now or never for Liverland. As the ball gets played in and the referee doesn't even give him any time. He blows his whistle right on the mark of the added time being over. Jay Hunter getting the uh, getting man of the match. He got a goal. He got an assist. And what an assist it was. How important will Reese Kelly's goal be come the end of the season? I saw a lot of positives out there is what I'm going to say. Because it was just another result that was grinded. In the lower leagues, I'm not going to nitpick about how well we played the result. You know, people getting sent off. I'm just here for results. I'm here to get promoted. And that point there could be a massive step in the right direction to us getting promoted. Anyhow, that's a game against Liverland done. And next episode will be the White Church game, which I think is only one game after the Rye Corn game. Um, we will play that one there offline, um, offline, off, you know, off stream, off YouTube. And then we'll be back for episode 13, which will be White Church, who are on that 60 points, which would mean that game is going to be huge. Imagine if we lost to Ryan Court and then to White Church. All of a sudden, the league goes... <laughs> And it will be on for young and old. Anyway, from Damien from Sunderland. From Damien from Sunderland from Bright Lights. Yeah, sure. From Damien from Non-League to Legend from the city of Liverpool. It's the end of episode 12. Links in the description below to come follow us on Twitter and on Twitch. Thank you and goodbye.